you have to tell to the AC who is the master controller. So right now I want to use my AC1 become the master controller. So I need to go back to the system view and use the command master controller enable. And then I type a command here, master controller. Because right now I want to do some configuration inside the master controller view. So the first one, we use the enable command to make the AC1 become master controller. The second command over here is bring you to the setting view. You can able to add the member into the group. Okay, after we using the master controller command, it will bring you to the master controller view. So using the command ACID, okay, now the first one is 10.23.100.1. And the second member is 10.23.100.2. Okay, right now in this group they have AC1 and AC member 2 already. Okay, don't forget on the AC number 2. If you never tell the AC number 2 who is the master controller, the AC2 will never form the in the AC tunnel with the AC1. So you have to turn it over here. So make sure the AC2 are using this command. Okay, and this command we only can enable on the WLAN view. Okay, you can see the view here, both of them is different. So the command we're going to use here is master controller space followed by the IP address space with the address of the AC1. Now you go back to the AC1 again. Continue the configuration on the master controller. For the master controller, you also allow to give the name for the uh, mo uh, mobility group. So inside here, I'm going to use the mobility. So after we enter the name of the mobility, then the next step, we're going to bind the AC into the mobility group. You have to tell them who actually belong to this mobility group. Like the previously, I already put the ID1 is the AC1 IP address, AC2 is the AC2 IP address. So right here, i just using the ID we do. So I, I put the command member AC ID1 and also the member AC ID2. Okay, done. Now we have successfully com configured the mobility group. So in all, if you want to check who is the member inside the mobility group, we can uh, using the command called display mobility group followed by the name. So right here you can check. Right now, this member whether in the normal state or not. So to show you the connection here, okay, the connection whether is up or down. Of course, we would like to see the state is normal. And we also have another command to check the station, the SDA. So we can use the display station SSID followed by the name of the SSID. Because right now, we want to check right, who connect to this SSID. You know, sometimes you might create um, so many uh, SSID allow the different user to access to your network. But to check the total concurrent user is using the same SSID that you list out inside here, we must using this command, okay, display the uh, station, SSID, WLAN. So to show you all the uh, the current connected uh, S station, okay, with the very detailed information, include the MAC address. You can see from here, they'll show the current connected SDA MAC address. And right now, this PC, okay, this uh, SDA, is connected to my AP1 or AP2. You can get the information from here. Then follow up is the band. Okay, what is the current frequency band connected by this SDA? The version of the Wi-Fi, okay, 11N. Okay, receive and transit, the RSI. Okay, the radio signal strength. 
what is the VLAN and also the IP address from here. So anyway, this is a very useful command. And the next one, we can using the same command to check all the information here. As I already mentioned, they have show you all the list. Okay, you can identify identify right now the PC right uh, is connect to which AP. So you know, after you perform the rooming, and you use the same command as a previous again, you notice same information, same MAC address, same IP address, but right now they are connected to the AP number two. So that's mean right now the PC client with this uh, MAC address is already successful perform the rooming. So this is another command. Display station room track STA map then give the measure of the PC. So over here they will show you the information of the layer 2, layer 3, the AC IP, the AT connector, okay, the radio signal, and also the receive and transit information here. Overview. So we're going to explain uh, some of the the rooming in this topic. And basic concept of the rooming. Okay, why we need the rooming? Different rooming mode. So they have how many types of the rooming mode? So we have the layer two, layer three. So for the layer three, we also can using the different folding mode like layer two. Uh, sorry, is the direct folding or maybe the tunneling folding mode. Okay, implementation of the in the exit rooming. So I also list out some of the application scenario of the rooming. And the last one is the example for the layer 3 rooming configuration. 